I'm a poet, one that just happens to write in a forest. In 2015, I stepped into a very special collection of trees at the Billy Graham Library right here in Charlotte, North Carolina. While there, I did nothing but write. But they were never my words. They were the lyrics from Billy's Forest. Nearly two years later, God spoke directly into my heart. He said, dude, come on now. Let's, let's write in other collections of trees, mainly your own forest in South Charlotte, North Carolina. You see, in every place that I have written, the spirit of Billy's lyrics vibrate the purpose and plan that God has put into play. I never know what I'm going to write about when I enter any forest, which gives us plenty of time to talk about it in the end. Remember, these aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest. Chapter number 348, December 26th, 2022, McDowell Nature Preserve. Winter's bite, our coldest camping trip yet. It's only 19 degrees. We have no water. The pipes are frozen. Yet the forest air is amazingly calm, peace-filled, and willing to embrace our sudden unexpected changes. We sat with nature for several hours. No reason to rush in. Every reason to fall witness to the nine deer living in a real nature preserve. And they're working at their own pace, and not my city slicker inner city forest lifestyle. Any forest makes me a silent watcher. I don't arrive to the roots and continuations expecting to be wooed and wowed. That only happens when the atmosphere is ready to share and you've got to step into it. It's not coming to you. Never. The last thing we want to do is make a footprint inside this preserve. To belong to its presence, not take over. Winter's bite humbled us immediately. I mean, it's so cold, so frozen, yet we didn't return home. We shared our situation with all living things in the way of staying honest and approachable. To be available, like that of a student and or a teacher. And our school happens to be this forest. Do we run away from things too quickly? Not in this situation on December 26, 2022. I vividly remember it because we had no water. It was 19 degrees. What were we going to do? We had to think like survivalists. We had to stay warm like survivalists. Do we run away from things too quickly? When in fact, in those moments, we could be learning things because the way of the world is a constant change right now. I realize we're all talking about this climate change and the world is heating up, but not really. It's going to have its opposite effects in the colder weather as well. Are we running away too quickly? And how can we plant our feet without putting a footprint in the sand. Running away too quickly leaves you out of the story. I will always share the journey of moving from Montana to North Carolina in the broadcast industry. And I've called it my biggest mistake because I wanted to move too quickly. I wanted to get to the larger markets really fast. I mean, my God, I was going to be 25 years old one day. I, I had to be there. And that being there I wanted to be the guy in Los Angeles doing a morning radio show. But I took that jump from Montana to Carolina in one big swoop. And I missed out on a lot of broadcasting education by missing all those markets. Billings was 257. Charlotte at that point in time was market size number 37. I missed out on a lot. And I ask you, are we moving too quickly? And it's moments like this one on December 26, 2022, where I realized, wait a second, I didn't run away from this. And because I didn't run away, nature almost embraced us. The important thing wasn't that we needed water. The important thing was, is that we stopped and we viewed, we studied, we became a part of, and we didn't try to redesign the situation like that of someone who runs away too quickly. How can we embrace that? To be able to say, I'm not perfect. I'm not going to be perfect. I'm not looking for perfect things. I just want to become a part of this. Living in the presence of what is your right now. Be okay with being the student. And be okay with maybe one day you're going to teach it. Where is your classroom? Mine on that particular day was the forest. I'm Errol. These are not my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest.